Hi, um, in this video I'm going to explain what a bifurcated fan is. Uh, I'm going to draw a fan from the, that's the front view of the fan. And that'll be the top view of that same fan. Now, as in all fans, you'd have the impeller here or propeller. And from the front, it would look like that. I'm just going to draw it fast because that's not the main issue today. That's the propeller. And uh, air would, let's say, go in here. And normally, normal actual fans, you would have the propeller and the motor shaft, and there's the motor. And air would go out this way. Now, in a bifurcated fan, the, the objective of a bifurcated fan is the following. Sometimes you have a dirty air, let's say air filled with dust. Uh, You'd find that in uh, woodworking uh, factories or, or environments. Sometimes you have extremely hot air or, or, or uh, air filled up with some uh, chemicals or stuff like that. Uh, basically, any air which could be damaging to the motor, one wants to isolate that motor uh, so that it has its own compartment and the way that uh, a bifurcated fan is it, it it isolates that motor That way So what happens is that the air when it comes in through the fan It does not touch the motor but floats around it because the motor has its own compartment and the motor is also getting ventilated because um, if, you, if you look at that is an open hole in the casing. So basically the motor's cooling would go this way, basically through this, through this hole and out at the bottom of the casing. Whereas the air would go, let me do it three dimensional, would go here. And out of here so you have two air flows one from top to bottom that's for the motor so that it gets fresh air and another one is front to back as normal fans which is basically that the, the air the, the, the fan supplies um, another another uh, thing for for bifurcated fans is that those motors they can withstand something like maybe 200 degrees whereas the air that the fan handles is often hotter than 200 degrees. So by isolating that motor, you also are able to use motors uh, which can withstand lower temperatures than the ambient air or the air that the fan is supposed to um, supposed to handle. Okay, that's that's all what I know about the bifurcated fans. 